Hi Pisces, it's Tuesday. We're going to do your love reading. So this is what you need to know about a return. I'm already getting a really strong message in your pre-shuffle, um, and it has to do with, uh, well, first of all, there's an opportunity here, something that could really take root and be strong. And then we also got the Lover's card. This is the Twin Flame Journey by Mystic Moon. Um, but there's a deep, deep message here about, uh, feels like maybe some suffering and silence. And um, anyway, we're going to dive in and see if we can get you out of that and get you some some um, good advice. Let's see. What cards do I want to use? I'm going to use the ones I already started with because they are already prepped. Look at that, the Empress. And I did keep getting the Emperor in the pre-shuffle too. Also the King and Queen of Pentacles. So there could be something related to work tied to your uh, love interest. Um, the Queen of Pen Queen and King of Pentacles, I, you know, can often be a power couple. Four Swords. Yeah, I feel like something is holding you back, keeping you stuck. But we're, we, you need to be careful with it because it, it it could be carrying over to you know your success and your 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 destiny, where you're supposed to go. Right? Look, there's the King of Pentacles. Didn't I just say that? Uh, Four Swords, taking a break, time out. Whatever this is, Pisces. Um, solar plexus came out strong you may need to work on your solar plexus that could have a lot to do with it if your solar plexus is shut down because you're withdrawing and you're suffering in silence um you know that can throw all your energy flow off wow the lovers again so possibly a, a twin flame connection here if you are in a twin flame and you haven't checked out my extendeds, you may want to do that. They're very, very detailed. I think I only have one Pisces extended. I don't do them very often, but they come out extremely detailed. You can watch the trailer and then decide. And then I have another new one that turned out really good about hidden truths, and that's twin flame. I'll link them down below. You can check this out. But we need to get get you back on track, get you, you know, out of your analysis paralysis is what I think two of pentacles emotional maybe juggling um the, the two of pentacles is juggling you po possibly emotions with you know um, stability strong strong vibe I'm getting about you know feeling stuck nine of wands okay so it's been a long you know road maybe you're beat up feeling battered um but I, I just want to say, Pisces, you know, everybody goes through that. So take a second to reflect on somebody, some, a few people that you really respect and admire that are extremely successful and think about their lives. You know, they've been through heartbreak. They've been through, you know, trials and tribulations and adversity. And their life could have taken a totally different turn if they'd stayed stuck. You know, it can go one way or the other. So I just want, want you to think about that for a second. What else? The moon. Hmm. Could be illusions, fear, secrets. Again, decisions. I think you're going to have to make just a really strong decision to... Put that aside. Put the pain, and, and I'm not saying it's easy, but put, the, put it aside. Sometimes heartbreak can be the catalyst that causes somebody to be, you know, the healthiest person in the gym or the most successful person because it's like that's, if you can redirect your, you know, let that, whatever's hurting you, let that become like a fire inside you. Yeah, a fire inside you, strength push past it so it's again a strong vibe here about a decision you've got the moon here you've got two of wands here a decision so you can sink into this fear or you can you know have this lion but lamb energy you can you don't have to 
be one. You can be that fireball, that firecracker that gets things done, that's successful. You could just still have your, you know, soft side. But there's a decision again. Let's look at your person because I do feel like your person is coming into play here. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. That's communication. Okay, Nine of Swords. So they're hurting too. Maybe it has you both stuck. King of Wands. I think they're going to take action towards you. I just, but I still think your message is really clear not to wait or let that hold you back. Um, because, you know, if you are in separation, the worst thing you can do is sit and. Um, sink into that sadness, you know, and people typically don't return to people who are, you know, down and out and feeling needy. I just, I feel like there's a lot of overthinking here instead of, you know, instead of action. Got to move forward. So you got to find that fire. to move forward. Tell me more about that chariot. There might have been a move or travel, page of wands. So we have a lot of communication here. This is good news. Good news may be about a move, maybe about a job. This came out again. So King of Cups, you could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this could be you. But see how he's got his foot in the water? That's emotion. And then look at the moon again in the background. There's a lot of emotion here. I just think it might be keeping you stuck. Let's look at next. what's up next. What are you going to do until your person comes back, Pisces? You know, you are going to, it looks like you are going to get communication. Look at your outcome. Money, happiness, love, everything. I just feel a strong need to take action. Towards yourself, not towards them. Hierophant. Truth, clarity. You know, um, let me show you these. These oracles that came out. So, okay, you know we got the solar plexus chakra, and we can read that. But how powerful is this? Emotional withdrawal. Shadow work suffering and silence so i i can't help but think your message your very strong message is you know about this return somebody is coming back or you're going to hear from them but your job is not to stay stuck it's it, it's to there's something here for you to learn and it's to not withdraw it's like you may have a habit of sinking into the pain instead of pushing forward and suffering in silence. And then with that hierophant, see, seek a counselor, seek a friend, somebody who can help you tell them you're struggling. I just feel like you're struggling in silence and you're not supposed to be. And sometimes it's just that one little step or that one conversation you know, it could be having somebody um, hold you accountable and telling someone, hey, listen, I'm struggling. I'm just feeling stuck. And, um, you know, like, will you partner with me? Will you keep tabs on, help me stay on track? Something like that. But there's a strong, I mean, crazy. Look at this. Emotional withdrawal, suffering in silence, shadow. So you have, I think you have a tendency to focus on the negative. And, you know, again, I just want to say, look at somebody very successful and think about how different their life would be if they let their heartbreak, everybody's had it, right? If they let their pain and heartbreak um, slow them down or block them from their success. Let's see. Let's read this. Let's read it. Solar plexus. 
157. Take some action today um, or as soon as possible to maybe do some meditation or some binaural beats, some sound therapy. You can do that on YouTube. You can go just YouTube solar plexus chakra meditation. Um, and see, that's going to that's gonna help. I think that's going to help all of this. Your energy flow is blocked, I think, because of this. So the solar plexus chakra is located between the navel area just below the rib cage. It represents power, vitality, willpower, self-esteem, and confidence. The energy center where your emotions and feelings are recorded. This chakra is associated with clairsentience, your interfeeling, which is a major psychic reception area. To balance the chakra, you may want to try yoga, dance, and movement, or breathe or breath work with color. In addition, be aware of people who drain your energy. Okay, so focus on that. Let's look at this shadow. I think your shadow work is to not suffer in silence and not to withdraw. And it might just be to tell somebody that you're doing that so that they can help you. I know that feeling. I do that too. Let's see. 61. This card represents emotions, sensitivity, and a reminder that nothing in life is at a standstill. This, this is a world of constant flux and one thing is certain, everything changes. This card is calling you to take action. The time is now when you ha may have to face your worst fears and look into the dark shadows of your soul. You must learn to confront what you've avoided and walk courageously through it. Also know that life naturally revitalizes itself and as it does, so do you. The shadow card promises that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Ten of Pentacles. You've got something really good coming. It's just a matter of getting unstuck. And those, ex those extendeds are really good for if you're feeling stuck, too. Um, so the shadow card promises there's light at the end of the tunnel. Recognize that by no longer denying your past and letting the tears fall, you'll discover the diamonds in the treasure chest of your soul. This is a cleansing process to wash away and clear out what was once avoided, ignored, or pushed aside. This card indicates that this is a time when your psychic sensitivity may be quite intense. Learn to open up to it, or if need be, to turn it down. Your body is one big psychic antenna, so just remember that you're in control of how high or low you want the reception to be. Mother Earth can assist you in this period of change, sensitivity, and healing. Strong message here, you're going to have somebody come back, but you've got to do some inner work. And that inner work is going to start with not staying stuck. And even if you just have to have that one step. You guys also, um, I love when you guys leave comments and support each other in the comments. So thank you to those of you who do that. Um, yeah. You don't want to miss out on this, Pisces. You know, take that step. Get in the gym. Go for a walk. One step. The second step gets easier. The third step gets easier. It's just that first step. Seed planted. New beginning. But you're going to have to do the inner work for you, okay? All right. I love you guys. Let me know. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you soon. Bye, Pisces.